Let's talk about website testing. If you want to become a website tester, then these are some of the few details that you need to know and basically the, the only details that you need to know about website testing. And first of all, I just want to make it clear that becoming a website tester is something that is very, very easy and anyone anywhere in the world can do it. So the first thing that I always say, if you want to become a website tester or even an application tester, you need to be very honest and especially where you come from. Instead of saying that you come from the US and apparently you're in Kenya like me, just be honest and say you're in Kenya. The reason is there are tests that are place specific, let's say country specific. And if you lie, chances of you getting disqualified and your account getting shut down increase. Tests basically range from about 10 to 20 minutes. And for each test, you can get paid basically $10 per test. And as I've mentioned, the first thing you need to be is that you need to be honest with what you're getting into. Because what website testing and app testing entails is that you need as a tester to speak your thoughts. Let's say you're given a scenario to analyze, let's say, a particular website. You're given a website, you're told this is a scenario, and somebody needs to purchase that particular product or maybe book a ticket, an, an, an airline ticket or a hotel, they want, that is the owners of the website, want to know how easy it is for the person looking to book the hotel, book the plane ticket, or even purchase something. How easy it is? What is the experience? So honesty and then now speaking your thoughts. You speak your thoughts as you go through. And basically, that's all you need to do. The scenario is there and then you walk through the scenario telling the client what you like. If it's the colors of the website, uh, maybe there's a button that is not working, ensure that you point this out uh, because the client is looking for that kind of particular feedback so that they can know what is required. Now, I always say this, it's always good to know what equipment you need. The first equipment I always say, and although it's not an equipment, is that you need to be in a quiet room and that is away from noise. Let's say children may be making noise in the background, cars and all that. Try and be in a quiet room where you can do the tests without any exterior noises interfering with the test that you're doing. So that is number one. Number two, most of the tests either require a Windows or a Mac computer. And as I showed you in the previous uh, uh, video is that you either need a Windows or a Mac or uh, if it's the phone, it's iOS or Android. Most uh, companies or clients require testing for their websites and their applications in these particular platforms and operating systems. So you need at least to have one of those gadgets. And also, depending on what you fill out in your profile. So quite true. We go to number two. I always recommend a good microphone. Right here I have an... Uh, Audio Technica, I think it's the AT2020 and a pop filter so that uh, there is no noise or popping that comes out when I'm recording uh, those particular navigations as I walk through the test because it's you need to speak out clearly and you need to be heard. You need to be audible. So I use this particular microphone. It's plugged in into my Focusrite Scarlett Solo. Uh, so it makes it even better for me when I'm doing this particular test. So you can use a cheap one, even the earbuds are satisfactory as long as you're in a quiet place or even the inbuilt uh, microphone. So yeah, those are just some of the few basics that you need. Even on your phone, the basic one is just a quiet environment. Now, you do have to take a qualification test. Most of the websites have a qualification test. And basically what they're trying to look at is can you articulate what you're seeing in the pre-qualification test? Because depending on how you answer the pre-qualification test, then that is how you're going to, that is what is going to determine the type of test that you're going to be getting and the frequency of the test. So ensure that before they rate your pre-qualification test and you're not paid for this, that you put your best foot forward. Have a good microphone that you can speak and be audible and be clear, be in a quiet place. And 
always try if you're using your laptop on battery ensure that it has battery that might or uh, can sustain that particular session so absolutely you need to do a prequel test and it takes a couple of days maybe even a week depending on the number of uh, applicants uh, that want to become testers for that to be done so just make sure that all you do is that you have the bare minimum quiet environment a good microphone a windows or a mac computer whether it's your phone uh, ios or android whatever you filled up make sure that this is something that you can do in a quiet place that's all i can say and it doesn't really it's just about you speaking your thoughts as you walk through the particular website that you see and that is how you become a tester by following just that few guidelines on te website testing and all that so it's like looking at the facebook application and saying you don't like this the whatsapp application you don't like the way it's not possible to like uh do xyz so potentially you speak your thoughts because that is why clients are paying and as i've mentioned before depending on the length of the test and most tests pay about between ten dollars to sixty dollars depending on the time it takes for that particular test so that's just a quick breakdown on how you can become a website or application tester and start making money from home check out the links below for the other video or up in the card above and until next time stay safe